Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified every time we post a new video. In this week's episode, we're going to be showing you guys three tips to make the tag living a little bit more durable and more functional. Uh, hopefully this will help you guys in small living as it's helping us. Oh, and one of them we had to do because it actually broke during our first month of traveling. So hopefully these modifications and tips will help you get one step closer to joining us in our adventures. Alright guys, so we got toys. So this week we bought, we got a package from Lagoon Tables, uh, which is the table that we're currently on right now. So this is an attachment point that is similar to the one right here. Um, so the reason that we bought this is that although we really like the table here, um, it's functional when we're eating and when we're hanging out here. But when, we're, when we need to use the table for the kitchen, it's too far away. So the idea is that we're going to get this attachment, put it on this side. That way we can use it in the kitchen. And then it'll also serve a double function of when we turn this into a bed that we can move the table to this side and get it out of the way because currently we have to grab it and we have to take it off and then put it into our tow vehicle which it's a, it's a little annoying because in the mornings when it's really cold or it's raining we have to get out of the car go grab it to be put it back in this way we can have a place for it. So this area in the new 2021 tab is pretty ideal because there's nothing really prohibiting us from putting this here. Um, if you see inside we have this vent hose but that's up against the wall above the wheel well so we're not really going to hit anything here it's just storage. So this place is pretty ideal. Again, this is such a great addition, especially if you are in a small travel trailer or if you're part of the TAP family. So as you can see, it's easy. It's now adds counter space into my cooking. As you can see, you're able to cook, transfer. And the best part is that now Chris, let's be honest, because I'm not running outside, is not gonna be running outside, putting this away into our tow vehicle and it's out of our way and then now it's easy for us in the morning okay everyone so time for the install review overall it was fairly easy it took about 20 minutes it's literally just four holes but there was some issues that i had with the product and i'll go ahead and tell you guys that so you don't have to experience the same things the first issue is that it comes with these gaskets and the gaskets have these like holes sort of pre-assembled. It's not the holes, but it kind of tells you where the holes should be. So I went ahead and drilled through those and it turns out it doesn't line up with the, with the bracket. So when you guys do this, make sure you line up the bracket and then get uh, a Sharpie and that way you can have the holes exactly where they need to be. Then the other issue that I had is that it came with a pre-wood backing that uh, is behind this this panel here, just so that it could be a little bit more sturdy. So that I assumed was level. Uh, so I just put it up against the wood that is already level here, and then I drilled the holes. Turns out it wasn't level. So make sure that you make sure that that piece of wood is level before installing, uh, or make any adjustments that you need to. So it's so it works well. It doesn't really bother us that it's not that level. It's it's fairly good so so on a recent trip uh, in the middle of the night while we were sleeping this cushion ended up breaking um, and the problem with this breaking is that all of our all the equipment is underneath and all of our valves and everything so we were really scared that we were gonna break something so we kind of while we we're on the trip we MacGyvered you know these little this little um, angle set up and this one didn't really work as well this one was able to help keep it up for but for a bit but that was always temporary here's a tip that will help you out if you guys are trying to do full-time um, I 
think we read on the forum that new camp said that these aren't meant for full time. So if you are trying to do full time, we're going to upgrade it and maybe you guys can upgrade it as well. That way you guys don't run into the same issue. So here's the plan guys. We already have a ledge here. I'm going to continue this ledge on, on this end. I'm going to add another one on this end and one down the center. And then we're going to have boards coming across this way. And we're not going to screw those down because we will need access to this. So we're just going to place them on top. And then if we ever need to move them, they're easy to just come off. Alright guys, so we're going to do some upgrades on the tab. So that means new tools. <laughs> And just like that, we're all done. These uh, planks are sturdy as a rock. And uh, you know, they can be removed for easy accessibility if we need to reach the AC or if we need to reach the LD system. But they're ready to go. And we shouldn't have any more problems when we convert it to a bed. Okay, so the last final addition that we have is a small one, but I think probably the most important one. It's a propane gauge. Um, so we're constantly panicking about whether we are gonna run out of propane or not. And then we go through this charade of getting it out and like weighing it and being like, nah, I think that we have enough. And then, you know, then going and filling it up and turning out that it was only halfway full. So uh, especially as we prepare for our long trip that we're gonna take, uh, this is gonna be vital to telling us when we need to fill up. Thank you.